dollars in your pocket and you're trying to buy something and nobody answers the phone, won't return emails, that should actually be your first cue. But if you, by any you know, strange luck, get somebody on the phone or actually able to speak to a live person, we have a questionnaire this long of the questions that you should know to ask so that you can quickly figure out who's real, who's not real, and do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're on the list, okay? And we've already answered all the questions on it for you. So now it's time to start knocking on other doors, kicking on some tires, and finding out, is anybody else in this market, are they ready to print right now, are they ready to go? If I gave them 50% tomorrow, can they send me an invoice today? Can they send me the uh, operation manual? Uh, pick a page, 14. Send me page 14 of an operation manual. Let me see your terms of purchase. Let me see your warranty. Let me see your contract. Uh, I'm gonna send you 50%. When am I gonna get my printer? Their liquidated damages if you don't give it to me on time. Guys, we do this for a living. These others, once they figure out, maybe when they get to the point where they can actually print something, uh, they still gotta learn how to run a company. Our customers are 3M. I sell to Tesla. I sell to Ralph Lauren. I mean, we sell to Fortune 500 companies, our automation company. We sell the largest companies in the world. These aren't very patient people, these companies, okay? They expect this kind of service. They expect when I call, I better get somebody on the phone right now. And if I have a problem, I want it running in 10 minutes. I want an engineer on the phone. I want to put on my visioneering goggles. I want you to help us because we're losing $10,000 an hour and I want it fixed. Those are the customers that we do business with. That is the lifestyle that our people work under here. Okay? That is what we know and that's how we do things. And so, like I say, once others figure out how to print a wall, they still gotta figure out how to run a company. And it's obvious right now that they don't know that. Uh, and we do. So we welcome you to come on board. We'd love to have you as a international partner. We'd love to have you as a franchisee with exclusive distribution rights in a myriad of states that are still left. Uh, exclusive distribution rights on a product that within a year, if you don't own one, you can't do the work because you just can't, you can't form stuff up like this, okay? Engineers will be designing stuff like this. They'll be designing radiuses like this. They'll design stuff like that over there. And you can't form this stuff up. So if you don't have this printer, you can't do the work. That's kind of a cool thing. My dad grew, my dad was in drywall. In our construction company, I remember when the bazooka and the Ames tools came out in drywall. Literally within a 30 day period, if you didn't have a bazooka or have these tools that were offered by Ames, you were out of business. Because it was the old days where you got a, you know, uh, a trowel, a six inch trowel, and you're laying down mud in the corners, and you're bending your drywall tape, and you're sticking it in the corner, and then you're putting mud on top, and then you're scraping it all off, and it was replaced with a bazooka that did it all in one motion. Okay, up in the ceiling, the seams, seven inch box, 12 inch box, 16 inch box. This is that kind of disruptive product. This will change everything. Magazines have already written about us and said, you can forget basically what you thought you knew about construction because you know nothing. This is changing everything. And it's just like my dad's company. When Ames came out with a new tool uh, and it was devastating. And within a few months, he had to figure out uh, how to get his workers with these tools because one guy with this tool could do the work of six drywall and tapers. Uh, not drywall, but tapers. You get my meaning. Anyway.